evening. We have uh, Nikhil Chopra, former cricketer, joining us. Shishir Hatangari is the CEO of the BCA, former cricketer himself. Ayaz Memon, a senior journalist, cricket writer and commentator. Vimal Kumar, senior sports journalist, is also joining us. And we'll be joined in a moment by Tim Wigmore, sports journalist with the Daily Telegraph and the author of Cricket 2.0. Nikhil, let me start with you first. I just laid out the current uh, uh, form of uh, Virat Kohli. I I'll come to that in one second. I want to know, first things first, What's the deal here? Has he been rested for the West Indies tour or has he been dropped? Without a doubt, Zach, he's been rested. And that uh, rest, I say so, because he himself wrote to the BCCI wanting to take a break. Yes. And uh, trust you me, and I'm telling you this uh, with a great amount of confirmation as well, come the Asia Cup right through, to the World Cup, there will be no experimentation in the side. The blueprint for the Indian team for the World Cup is more or less ready. <coughs> Come the Asia Cup, then the uh, Australian tour to India, they're going to be coming and playing three T20s in India as well. Then once they leave for the World Cup, Virat Kohli is going to be very much part of that uh, T20 World Cup campaign. It's unfortunate, okay. like you were just mentioning, about the uh, dip in form that he's had. But uh, Zach, you know, this is a guy over a you know, number of games that he's played for India in the T20 format, I'm not even getting to the 4300 that he's got in the 50 yeah. over format yeah. or you know, the number of centuries, 27 I think, in the test matches, I'm not even going there. 94 games in the T20 format for India, averaging more than 50. Mm -hmm. He's got 30 odd half centuries to his name. Yeah. You know, the last couple of years, it's been tough on everyone, staying Correct. away from family, you know, and I'm speaking from personal experience as well. When you're out away from the families, and most importantly, when you're living in these bio bubbles that we were with 14 day mm -hmm. quarantine period, you are not allowed to meet the outside world. It does take a toll on you. I'm okay. not saying that, you know, I'm being a big advocate of his as well, but I'm just saying that here's a man who's done so much for India and Indian cricket, more than 70 hundreds to his name, T20, you know, the numbers prior to the last year that what you say mm -hmm. has dipped. But this man has been rested. Trust you me, when we get to, say, uh, Australia for the World Cup, with the kind of tracks that we are going to be playing on, there will, he will game. find a place. He's won that, done that for Team India time and okay. again. Yeah. Time, uh, I, I asked time Mehman, and again, he's won games know, for Team India. No one, no one is doubting Virat Kohli's greatness. I mean, he's, of course, like I said, uh, an average of 50 in one yeah, day absolutely. and, you know, 50 in T20s. By the time he hangs up his boots, he's going to be right up there and maybe the top two or top three uh, batsmen, the greatest batsmen that India has had. But the problem is his current form and everybody agrees his current form is poor. The larger yeah. question to be asked though is, does this team management have a place for Virat Kohli up until the T20 World Cup? If they do, I guess they need to say that to him and, and it would be nice if they, if they confirm that to the rest of us, uh, view, the, the viewing public of cricket in this they country. Have. And, and they have. <laughs> no, no, they, I don't think they quite have because this whole rested drop business, I don't know, I don't know, you know, what, what, what will it take for the BCCI to say that Virat Kohli, upon request, has been rested for the West Indies tour and that he's very much part of our plans for, you know, Australia or wherever else. Anyway, Ayaz, yes. Yeah, look, I think, uh, you know, the, the question or the issue is very, very valid. It's pertinent. It's, it's a... Uh, you know, it's something that affects everybody who's following cricket in India and certainly the fans. I think if he was dropped, you know, they, then he wouldn't have been playing today and maybe not even in the last game in the ODS because then you don't need to play him. Yeah. If he was dropped, then you play somebody else and give that other person the opportunity to make a, make, make a mark and get into the T20 World Cup. I agree with Nikhil to the extent that I think they've got a game plan or strategy in place for the team that may or will, you know, in all likelihood be uh, playing the T20 World Cup in which Virat features. Now, whether he features in the playing level or not, but I think he features very strongly in the squad. Because if he wasn't, then why should you play him today? Why should you play him maybe on Saturday? Why should you play him in the Asia Cup possibly or something else? No, so why I are you making that, that distinction between, why are you making that distinction between, I don't know if he's part of the playing 11, but he's part of the squad. I mean, Virat Kohli, if he's part of the squad, would want to be in the playing 11, right? No, but you... Why do you choose a squad then? You just choose 11, no? Jaka. You choose a squad, somebody may get injured, somebody has a niggle, somebody may be, somebody may be out of form in that 
in that period of time. So you have that option for the captain. No, no, no. Ayaz, Ayaz, Ayaz. No, no, no. One changes. sec. Sorry. So I'm really sorry I'm interrupting. If you're picking Virat Kohli for the squad, you're picking him for the number three position in the team. No, he, of course. He is very much part of your playing 11. He's not no, somebody who, who you're picking as part of the squad in the hope that, no. oh, somebody gets injured, then we can no, draft no, no. in Virat. Obviously I, not, I, right? I, I, think, I think he's getting into a convoluted thing. Why would you play him today? That's exactly that what I'm case. asking. If you're playing him today, why are you resting him for West Indies? Because there is an issue to rest him, whether he's asked for it or whether whether the you know, the team management or the BCCI think it's it's worthwhile to rest him and get him fit for the games ahead, okay. Okay. Uh, which is the primary issue is the World Cup T20 team, right? Mm -hmm. Now in that case, I think if you look at the squad which has been announced for the West Indies, I am getting a very clear picture of who 15, 16 of those players are going to be, and I'm not including Virat in that. I am saying the squad okay. is going to be 18. And in these COVID times, it would extend to 20, mm -hmm. maybe even 21 for all teams, not just for India. Then, are you going to leave Virat out? Okay, all right. I then, don't think give me, so. Give me, give me a couple of minutes. If Virat, minutes. Is, in the, uh, if Virat is in the squad, yeah. then certainly I, I, he's, a, he's a very serious challenger I, for play, being in the playing I, I, I'm going to take a couple of callers and then I'll go across to Tim Wigmore and uh, Shishir Hatangari. Uh, Krishnan is our first caller. He's calling us from Jamshedpur. Uh, good evening, Mr. Krishnan. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Jaga. Go ahead. What's your question? Uh, first of all, I just uh, want to say good evening to Nikhil Shishi uh, Ratangadi Ayaz Bhai. Okay, sir, my uh, my two observations are there. Actually, first of all, this uh, Virat Kohli is a very natural leader, actually. I think if you drop him from the leadership, I think he's that uh, killing instinct is, I think, it is getting reduced. Okay. First thing. And second thing, in from in, in India, there is a culture. We always, uh, what do you say, that uh, puja karte hai hum log bade bade khiladiyon ka. Mane mm -hmm. unke naam par hum log chalte hai. Unko drop karna ek bahut bada issue ho jata hai hum log ke liye, joh nahi honi chahiye. Mm -hmm. Agar woh galat khel rahe, toh ne drop kiyo nahi kiya ja sakta hai. Ye okay. unke liye bhi betterment hooga, or India ke liye bhi betterment hooga. All right, thank you for your unke call, Mr. Krishnan. Uh, let, me get, let me get a couple more callers in. Ashish Basu is calling us from Kolkata. Yes, Mr. Basu. Yes, yeah, Ashish, go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Uh, Mr. Jaka Jacob, good evening. I am Ashish Basu from Kolkata. My yes. question to the panelists is that uh, is it possible for a big player to lose form so badly and to get back the form playing uh, international cricket or going back to domestic cricket is a must. Okay, all right. But good question. Going back to thank domestic you. cricket is yeah. like going to the different. All right, thank you for your call. Let me get uh, Mahesh in from Bengaluru. He's our third caller, Mahesh. Yeah, good evening, Zaka. My question is to the panelists is that uh, can a session with the Fab Four, uh, namely say <laughs> Sachin, Saurav, Dangoli, uh, help uh, Virat in, his, uh, in the form? Okay, thank you. Really All right, let me go across uh, 